Hello, today I'll be going over the sigmoid function, um, which is uh, very important in machine learning and statistics. So a sigmoid function, um, otherwise known as a logistic function, is a mathematical function that basically maps any input value to an output value between 0 and 1. And um, it kind of has like an S shape, which is why it's called the sigmoid um, which basically means S-shaped. So, sig Yeah, so, just try to graph what it looks like. Sure. Uh, let's just say you have one, zero point five, one, negative one. And basically what the sigmoid function is going to look like, sure, let me So what it's going to look like is, like I said, kind of like that. Uh, okay, it's going to take a while. Yeah, so it's going to kind of look like this. It's going to be... Um, a graph that has a range from 0 to 1 and uh, you can see here that it kind of crosses the y-intercept is at 0 0.5. So basically um, you have the s-shaped and um, you can kind of think of it as like the asymptote so as x approaches um, infinity the function is going to get close, very close to being 1, but it will never reach 1. And likewise, for negative infinity, it's going to keep going very far, but it's never going to really reach 0. You can also see that when it intersects at 0 0.5, which is the middle of the curve, it's the steepest there. That kind of shows how the function is most sensitive to changes in input at this location. Um, yeah, so, and also I just did from negative 6 to 6 because most of the interesting behavior of the sigmoid function usually occurs within this range. Okay, so let me... So, the sigmoid function is defined as 1 over 1 plus e to the x. Um, where f of x equals the output, which is going to be from 0, 0. And then we have x which is the input, and then e, um, that's a constant, which is roughly equal to 2.718. And yeah, so you can see here, like, just plugging it into the equation, let's say you have like a very large number, um, then e to a very large number, um, oh wait, yeah, that, that is incorrect e to the negative x, so let me actually put parentheses too. Um, e to a very large number, but negative is going to give you basically 0, and then 1 plus um, 1 over, or wait, sorry, that is incorrect. So let's just say, 
Oh, never mind, sorry, I'm confusing us all. So let's just say you have a very large number for x. Um, e to the d to the very large number, but negative, that's going to be the reciprocal, so it's basically going to be equal to 0. And then you're just left with 1 in the denominator, and 1 over 1 is just 1. So as x becomes a very large number, the output is going to equal, well, approach 1. And if you think in the opposite way, e to the, let's say, negative infinity times negative 1, that's going to give you positive infinity. Um, and you can't actually do this, I'm just giving an example. So e to the whatever very large number um, is going to become very large, and so very large number in the denominator is going to equal 0. So that's why you see that the curve kind of approaches 0 at the bottom. And yeah, so that's like the function itself. So where is it used? Well, in machine learning, uh, we use it in logistic regression for binary classification. And you can see here why that's useful. It's because it gives you a number between 0 and 1, and you can use that to kind of determine if the output is closer to 0 or 1. So some kind of binary classification. Um, and they are also used as activation functions in neural networks, which I'll get to later. Um, in statistics, we use it to model probabilities. In logistic regression, and yeah, um, I'm, I think in other applications, like in biology, you might use it to describe population growth. Um, and yeah, so that's basically an, a brief overview of sigmoid functions. Um, you'll probably see it a lot when we go over like the actual implementation of, let's say, like certain machine learning algorithms or neural networks. But yeah, thank you for watching.